Well, hello everyone. I'm Dean Jennison, the superintendent at Chisago Lake Schools, and we're excited about an opportunity to share with you our primary school uh, project here that's taking place this summer and through next summer. And so at this point, I'm going to turn the microphone over to our team, um, our leads here uh, from our school district that are working with this project and are going to be functioning in this space once things are renovated and things are added. So I'm going to hand over the microphone to our primary school principal, Brenda Shell. Hi, Brenda Shell, primary school principal. Um, we are so excited about this project because it's going to allow us to add a couple of additional classrooms with our growing numbers. We'll have an additional kindergarten and a first grade classroom. We're going to have a conference room that we haven't had to be able to have in the last few years. Um, we're going to be remodeling our intervention spaces so that our kiddos, those kiddos that need extra help, will be able to have a space that's designated to them. We will have a place for art and music to stay in the same room all day and not have to move from place to place. So lots of exciting things happening. And this is Andy Wilhelmy, our Director of Buildings and Grounds. Hi, I'm very excited to speak to you today about some of the projects that will be taking place in this construction project. The first is toilet renovations that were original to the building from 1965 and we'll be making them ADA compliant and it's allowing us to put in toilets in place of urinals for our youngest learners. In addition to that, we'll be replacing the boiler system that was steam and hydronic. It'll be much more energy efficient. It's gonna allow for a much more comfortable learning environment for the students while returning a cost and savings at the same time, increasing energy efficiency for the district. Now I'd like to turn over to Michelle Kleist. Hi, I'm Michelle Kleist. I'm the Director of Community Ed here at Chisago Lake School District. Uh, we are excited, just like Brenda, we're seeing some increasing numbers in our preschool program. Um, so with this additional upgrade, we'll see an additional classroom. And then next year, we'll gain back our muscle room, which will allow our kids to have a break from the classroom and be able to go and turn into some physical activity that they need outside of our classroom spaces. Um, as well as we are also gaining a family access or a family changing room that allow our youngest learners, our babies to our two-year-olds, to be able to have a space to go and have diaper changes and have family um, access to that restroom as well. One thing we're really happy about is that the primary school is getting some upgrades and uh, that really comes uh, from savings that we had in our other projects so that's a tribute to John and ICS and Wold, our architects who've worked with our other projects which were closer to 70 million dollars. Well from that we had three million dollars left over that we're using for this project along with the sale of the Lakeside property. We're combining those things together for about a four million dollar project. So we do want to say thank you to our communities for that bond in 2017, but also to those that have worked with the project to help us have money to do something at primary school. And as Mrs. Shell mentioned as principal, there's many things to be excited about from dedicated art space, uh, music space, intervention spaces, renovated bathrooms and toilets, things for early childhood, um, safety upgrades, but also those boiler upgrades that were spoke of. Those are all huge because it is a savings when we have those efficient uh, boiler systems and other things that we're doing. So we're very excited about that. And, and finally, we're just very happy for the students. Ultimately, the students and the staff, happy for both of them as they're the ones in the classrooms every day getting the job done. This is a behind the scenes stuff that happens to create wonderful learning environments for our children. And this is what the community has been committed to. And if you look around the area, the, the, the facilities in Chisago Lakes are second to none. And so we're just really excited that our communities continue to support us as they do and excited for our students and staff to come back in the fall and see all these upgrades. And then the ones that will be done next summer, um, you know, when this is fully completed, we'll have a grand opening like we've done with the other facilities and have an opportunity to celebrate all the good things that have been done. So thank you for your support community. We're going to lead now into a tour, and uh, uh, Mrs. Shell, our principal, will lead that, but the others will be a part of that tour as well. And so uh, here we go. Hi, I'm Brenda Shell, again, principal here at the primary school. I'd like to take you in and kind of give you a tour of our intervention suite to get started, so come on in. So this is going to allow us to have a, um, six to seven spaces for working with small groups, students who need extra help, or even students who may need... Um, some enrichment. So here's one of the spaces over here. This is the second space that we're standing in. Third space is here. A couple of the spaces were already existing, so we're going to continue to use those existing spaces. The space in front of me is a space where the paraprofessionals, it'll be storage for the materials needed. It'll also be a place for all of our paraprofessionals to keep their things. Um, and a kind of a quiet, so as they enter the intervention spaces, those are quiet spaces. So here another one, and then up in the front is the bathroom that Michelle Kleist was talking about. So our preschool families that have young children would be able to come in and bring their children in here for changing or for bathroom. 
right? So we're gonna head on down to the early childhood wing of the building. So a couple of things were included in the early childhood part of this building. The first one is a special education room. So our students in special education and early childhood spend the bulk of their day in their classrooms. But we do have some small group things that have to happen, um, and that's in this space right here. So we were able to build, take an, an existing classroom, we built an office space for the three, two or three um, teachers and paraprofessionals that work with those students here, that's office. This is sort of just a classroom, small classroom space for early childhood. And then over in the corner is storage for equipment, materials, and then this is a sensory room for those kiddos that need to just leave their classroom for a break, get on the trampolines, some of those other things. We have a sensory space for them. So this is early child special education. So the other part of the early childhood renovation was the bathroom setup. So what we used to have is um, urinals for our youngest learners. They don't come into school knowing how to use a urinal. So we were lucky enough to have those removed. We are going to have sinks finally that are down at uh, you know three and four year old level. They used to have to have steps or uh, stools that they would get up on to wash their hands. So luckily now we don't need those steps or stools. Our students can be independent at both toileting and washing their hands. So pretty exciting stuff. Look at that plumbing. Yeah, that all had to be redone because, you know, where the toilets were is not where the toilets are now. So they literally had to dig up these floors. This was all dirt about, I don't know, a week or so ago. It was piles of dirt and then that's all been put back together and the concrete's been poured. So this was a very, very messy project. Roshan's doing a great job of keeping it clean. Thank you. <laughs> So, um, you don't, we won't see this in the existing space, but we have an art room that's down here right now. As soon as the office edition is done, then the art will get to go back to its new location, and that will open up that muscle room that we talked about. So by moving music and art out of this wing of the building, we've picked up that additional classroom we talked about, and then the muscle room will happen next year when the office is done. And what is a muscle room? Muscle room is a large, um, so, the preschoolers, they need to move. We know that about them. In their classroom, they can get some movement between stations. But in order to get that large muscle play where they can climb and slide, it's almost like an indoor playground um, in a sense. Um, so they can get those large muscles moving too. Thank you. So we're going to head outside to the new office space. So this is the new, what we are calling the office edition. It's really not a, just an office edition, but we'll have a new main entrance secured. We will have a new um, teacher workroom and staff lounge because the staff lounge wasn't that intervention space that I just showed you. So it's not that we need a new lounge, but that was the space we could allow for intervention. So there will be a staff lounge um, and a new health room because our health room has just not been large enough to do all the things we need to do. Um, we haven't been able to get a good, you know, uh, if we had to get a stretcher or a wheelchair into that health room, it's been really tight. So, new health room, new staff workroom and lounge, and then new office, principal's office, main office will be out in this, this footprint here. All right. One of the other things that's going to happen with this office addition is that uh, this will free up the space for our, where our health room is, my office, and the main office. That's going to become a special education room for our, our youngest or K-1 learners um, that have our highest needs students, autism, Down syndrome, those kinds of disabilities. They will have their own designated space in this area right here. That will come with some equipment storage, some sensory space, um, all for those K-1 special education students. some of that boiler um, work that we've been talking about. So like these are the tunnels of the primary school. They've been down in the tunnels, they've been in the ceilings, they've been everywhere working on um, the, new eight, the new heating system here at primary school. Maybe you want to take a look at the ceilings. Um, Andy, do you want to just tell us what's going on up here in the ceiling? Yeah, so if you look along the left-hand side here, you'll see these two copper pipes, which will be the main runs for the heating system. That'll be a supply and a return for the new hydronic heating. 
Hydronic? What right. does hydronic mean? Like well, so it's just hot it's water just heat. So, right. Just modern. Yeah, modern yeah, yeah. hot water. Oh. Hot water heat. Okay. Right, so that's all coming from the boiler. The boiler room is empty basically right now, right? Because the new boiler's not arrived, but the boiler took up an entire room. It was huge. The new boiler is so much smaller. It's going to take up a small fraction of what that big old boiler did. Again, from 1966, that was down there original. Um, the old fuel oil tank was buried in the back, so that was able to come up out of the ground in this project. So, so much being done on the kind of back side of it. All right, so we'll take you down here. Um, this space was um, where our, our, that special education program I was talking about, they were in this space, but this is going to become the new art room when it's done. Um, the art will move out of the early childhood wing, come down here to our K-1 wing, and then that will open up that muscle room. So some shifting, but this will be the new art room. <laughs> Kids here at the primary school get computer, library, music, art, um, and FIED every day. Well, on a rotating basis. All right, so we'll walk through this classroom. So this was um, an office area and then one very large kindergarten classroom. But again, one of the purposes of this project was we need additional classrooms because where we used to have seven, say seven sections of uh, a grade level, we now have nine coming into this current school year. So we were just simply out of space here at the primary school. So this is allowing us, by taking that large classroom in this office, we were able to make two classrooms out of that. So over on the far side is going to be a music classroom. That's their designated space. And then this will be a kindergarten classroom, adding that ninth section of kindergarten. Did you say that this was pre-K through one? Yes, so where we were originally, that was the preschool wing. Right now we are standing in the kindergarten wing, like we like to call it. So over here is another one of our bathroom renovations. This is in that kind of kindergarten wing. Um, one of the features of our new bathroom remodeling is that they will have um, automated sinks, soap, paper towels. It will all be automated now. Um, and so it's going to be really nice for our young learners. And again, sinks that are at their level. Again, no more steps for our bathrooms. So this entire wing of the building is kindergarten. Again, we have nine sections that will have nine classrooms for, um, for this building. And you see there's some ceiling work being done in each of these classrooms, and that's all about that new heating that's going on. So each of these classrooms has been impacted in some way with the new heat piping that needed to be done. All right, so we're heading down kind of uh, the end of our kindergarten wing and moving into first grade. So over here was a big um, old kindergarten like storage room. And what we've done with it now is we've made two staff bathrooms and then a staff copy room. So it'll be a copy room, paper cutter, things like that that teachers have quick access to in this space. And then two staff bathrooms. Something that we never had really here at the primary school staff bathrooms. They were way down by the office. So teachers had to get way down to the office to get to a staff bathroom. Um, so that's a really nice feature for us. This is now going to be a kindergarten room. If you want to walk over here, I'm going to show you some of this original carpet from 1970s that, by the way, we were just able to take out of here. This carpet has served us well. This orange carpet was covering the classroom. It certainly did not look this nice because that was covered up, but um, it was pretty faded. But it was from 19 in the 70s, um, and it was still here being used on a daily basis here at the primary school. So a lot of adults in the community probably remember that carpet if they went to school here. Um, so this is going to be a first grade classroom now this year um, by adding that kindergarten class down at the other end of the, the building we just looked at. That allowed us to turn this kindergarten room into a first grade room. So we will have that nine sections of first grade as well. Um, two of these rooms had this brilliant orange carpet um, and countertops, so that's all coming out. This will have some new built-ins put around the, the, the perimeter um, and new poured floors. We like the poured floors here at the primary school because um, kids this age do have accidents once in a while. So it's really nice for us to remove the carpet. It takes care of some of the allergy problems, takes care of anything that, you know, we can paint, we can do all those things on that hard surface floor um, by not having the carpet. Are the, is the HVAC venting being replaced or is that just still the same stuff? It's the same mechanical equipment, but it's getting an upgrade with the controls. So it'll be better controlled with the new controls that will be installed. 
Okay, so the same uh, ductwork. Same ductwork, same mechanical equipment that's located on the rooftop. Yeah. Then along the perimeter is where the radiant panels, and that's where the new heat will be installed. That will be installed in the ceiling and will radiate down on the outside of the classroom. Ah, okay, thank you. So this again, first grade classroom. Um, then there's one more kindergarten room being remodeled, and that was because of the orange carpet and some of the heating and air conditioning. So this is a, a, another big kindergarten room um, that is being remodeled. Basically, they took out the orange carpet, there was some asbestos removal, um, and then this will have new built-ins put in, getting rid of the old orange countertops that were in here. So this is just one room? It is. Yep. It's, it's huge. Um, well, back in the day, the kindergarten rooms were built big, big, um, you know, more play spaces, so times have changed, and we, quite frankly, don't have the room to make them all this size anymore. Yeah. How many kindergarten classes will you be having? We are um, filled with nine kindergarten classrooms and nine first grade classrooms. So you're filled? We are filled, so it was really nice to get this going because we were filled. And what about pre-K? How many kids come for pre-K, would you say? Um, I would say they probably have all in total close to 200 students. Again, some of those kids come five days a week. Some of them come three days a week. Some come two days a week. We have parent groups here, the kid, parents that bring their children in for parent classes. And then they come uh, morning session, afternoon session. So it's a whole host of different early childhood programming here at Primary. Great. Okay, let's move on. The newest part of the building is from the 1980s, and that has, it's staying pretty much intact. But we're using it for storage. The, this is the newest part of the building. We had two additions. Um, four classrooms were added sometime in the 80s, and then later on, another four classrooms were added. So this part of the building is not really being touched, but we are able to use it as storage. So every one of those classrooms where all that furniture came out is being stored in someone's room. So every teacher was impacted in some way here at primary because we had to use their room for storage. And I can give you an example of those poured floors I was talking about. What? Hey, do you know a Mrs. Zupko, I'm wondering? <laughs> we have a Miss Zupko and a Mrs. Zupko here. Uh, so this is an example of the poured floors. It's a, we call it, it's an epoxy floor, but this will be pretty much throughout most of the building. There'll be carpet in just a couple of office spaces. Um, and but most of the building we done in this epoxy floor. It's easy to clean. Uh, it holds up well. So this is a typical first grade room. And how many kids would be in a class, would you say? Um, this year, with that addition of the ninth section or teacher that they were able to hire, we will be sitting around 22 probably per classroom. Well, there you have it. There's an idea of what the building construction project looks like. So much happening here at the primary school, and we are um, really looking forward to having all the kids join us at the um, beginning of September for open house. So we look forward to seeing you and showing off all that we've done over the summer.